like getting our morning hot chocolates and our, like coffees and stuff and then the fire broke out in the kitchen and they didn't know what to do so they just like left when we left there was like a little a little fire but then escalated you know i wouldn't say panic everyone is like we're pretty old enough to like move out orderly and stuff so it wasn't really much of a panic until it became bigger but by that time we we're already in class so yeah um yeah, there's obviously the fire and uh, everyone was getting evacuated um we got told to step away and initially it didn't look that that bad but um obviously it got pretty serious and yeah we got all told to evacuate and so everyone you know started recording it and moving out the way so yeah in the initial stages of an incident like this we need l large amounts of resources in a short space of time in a short space of time we've utilized those resources the incident gets controlled and we're in the space of get releasing those resources now Definitely it's out, and we're in salvage and ventilation, so we've got a couple of big fans and blowing air through it. Yeah, yeah, there's still a lot of residual heat around. Yeah, in real life, it's just pitch black. You can imagine the darkest night, that's what it's like to go into a fire. These are all electrical wires that have come down, so it's a very big hazard as well. Is that um, you know some of these could be still live, and the guys have to make their way through them. So it's another problem that as firefighters we have to encounter on a daily basis. Yeah, people just don't realise the damage that can happen from a fire when it happens. 